Hi, I bet you're wondering what's been happening in the real estate market because it has been a couple months since I've put out a report. Well, there's been a lot going on and so you need to stay tuned to learn more about what's happening right now in the Fredericksburg area. But before you do so, make sure you click the subscribe button below so we can keep this great information coming to you. And if you want to get up to date immediately, make sure you click the bell button as well so you are informed anytime we put out a new video. Stay tuned for our September 2020 market update. Thank you so much for tuning in. Well, I have my fabulous dry erase board here where I keep all my notes. If you'd like more information on this, please be sure to write that in the comments and I can be sure to share all this information with you. But I'm gonna do a quick recap of September this year compared to September last year. And then I'm gonna compare our year to date information. That's the stuff written in blue. And then a couple things down here that I have a little bit of concerns over that we'll go over briefly today and then I'll touch on in another video. So we've all heard the news about the fabulous real estate market, but when it really comes down to it, we need to look at the actual numbers. So a lot of what you hear from other real estate agents is based on emotionally how they feel about the market. I always try to tie the actual numbers into what we're experiencing as a team in the real estate market, just to make sure things are going according to how we're expecting them to go. So in September 2020, a couple things that are going on. Right now, there are 609 houses up for sale in our market area. So our market area is Stafford, Spotsylvania, Fredericksburg City, Orange County, Caroline County, and King George County. Uh, so there's a total of only 609 houses up for sale right now. Um, that's compared to over 1,600 last year at this time. So that's a change, 62, almost 63% fewer homes on the market. So yes, inventory is down. But when we have an inventory problem, it's because the demand is there and the demand is outweighing the supply. And that is basically exactly what we have going on. So in September, there were 817 houses that came on the market in the month of September compared to 755 last year. So actually this year there are more homes coming on the market compared to last year, about 8%. More homes were coming on the market this year rather than last year. But here's the real kicker. This year, at the end of September, there were 1,155 homes that were under contract. Compared to last year, 841 homes were under contract. That's a difference of 37 percent. So with our inventory being down 62 percent, but our contracts are up 37 percent, you can see that demand is way high. As a matter of fact, my calculation, demand is nearing 200 percent. So for every home that comes on the market, two homes are selling. Isn't that amazing? Last year it was 50 percent. So for every home coming on the market, uh, half of a home sold. That's up a 273%. Demand is up 273%. And that's why we are experiencing what we are experiencing right now. Sold uh, dollar amount, uh, the average sold price is up almost 9% over last year. And that's a good number. It's not a crazy boom number, uh, but it is higher than usual. The number of homes that have sold is up 30, almost 35%. So if the number of homes sold is up 35%, but our inventory is down 62%, again, you can see how the demand has been impacting things. It's taking about 22 days um, to sell a home. So in September, the average time it took to sell a home was 22 days. In September 2019, it was almost 50 days. So homes in September were selling in half the amount of time that they were in September of last year. Um, as a matter of fact, the average sold price right now is $355,000. So I 
always like to look at month over month, but I also like to look at year over year. And the reason why I like to look at year over year is because it averages out over the whole year. Uh, we've had times in the past where there's been stimulus packages surrounding homes and purchasing homes, and that had a major impact on what's going on in the market. Presidential elections have a major impact on what's going on with the market. This year, it doesn't seem to be doing anything with our market uh, like it usually does. So I think looking at year over year gives you a bigger picture of where everything is. And I think the year over year presents a very good uh, analysis, but it also shows you that things are not as crazy as they seem to be. So year over year, um, the number of homes that have been put on the market is actually down just under 10%. So in September, it was 62% different, but year over year, our number of homes down is only down 10%. The number of contracts written is up 6.7%. The number of homes sold is up 12.9% over last year. Sold amount, it's up 8.1% over last year. So again, your, your investment in your home just made you 8% this year. Isn't that great? Um, days on market, it's about a third less time this year compared to last year. Um, and demand um, is not as extreme as it was back in just September. So if we average it out for the year, 89% of homes that go on the market are selling or actually going under contract. And last year at this time, 76% of homes that went on the market were going under contract. And so our demand is about 17% better averaged over the year compared to last year. A couple things I wanted to point out, and I will do a follow on video of this, is one thing I've been tracking is the fallout rate. So what is a fallout? A fallout is when a home is up for sale, it goes under contract, and then it comes back on the market. So that contract fell out. And in years past, we had fallouts uh, because it was a short sale and the buyers weren't willing to wait another three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 months uh, to move forward. Um, buyers have lost their financing in the past, so we had fallout with that. We had appraisal issues in the past, so we have fallout with that. Um, one thing I've noticed just in helping my clients and looking at homes is there have been a number of homes that are active, they go under contract, and then they come back active again just a few weeks later. And that's been a great benefit to some of my clients. For instance, I had one client where the home that she really loved was for sale. It went under contract. Unfortunately, she was not able to compete um, when the house first came on the market because she needed to sell her home in order to compete. Um, but by the time we had a contract on her current home, that other home came back on the market and she's actually moving into her new home, her dream home right now. So that was a weird fallout. So one difference that we see right now with fallout rates is the house goes on the market, it goes under contract, comes back on the market and it sells again. In years past, home is on the market, goes under contract, comes back on the market and it doesn't sell. So that's one of the big changes this year. So it's been very hard to track these numbers. So over here in red, I've put the fallout rate information. And so what this is, is this comparing the number of contracts that are written compared to the number of homes that actually close. So there are 6,680 6, homes under contract, but only 6,100 sold. So that means 8% of all the contracts written did not go to closing. They, they fell through. And those homes did not close at all type thing. Um, in 2019, it was 13.5% of all contracts written did not close. And that's very surprising to me. That seems like a very big number. Uh, that's down 40%. So 40% uh, more contracts are sticking this year and actually going to closing compared to last year. Uh, but what I found interesting is the number of homes that go under contract or are active, go under contract, come back active again, go under contract, and finally close, it's hard to make the measurement of how many times that actually happened. So I can only look at a snapshot. So I looked at a snapshot today. Today is October the 23rd. And as of today, 
6%, almost 7% of all the homes that are active on the market right now were under contract just moments ago, and now they're active again. So to put that in perspective, we have very few homes on the market, as you know. There are 30 homes on the market today that just in the last week or so were under contract and they came back on the market. So the big question is why? Why is that happening in today's market? And why is the number so significant? I, I find that number very significant uh, considering those homes are probably gonna sell to somebody else um, in, in the next couple weeks. So in my next video, I will talk about why I think this is happening, what I have seen in the market, and what you can do so that does not happen to you. So I've been helping buyers and sellers and landlords and tenants in the Fredericksburg area for the last now 18 years. Can you believe it? I just hit my anniversary this month. And my team and I study the market. We are in the market. We know what's going on out there. And this is not a market where you should just go into it blindly or go into it based on feeling. There is some important stuff going on and it's important for you as a buyer or as a seller to know what is going on in the market so you can negotiate best for your position. It's also important for us to see what's going on in the market so when things start to turn, we know immediately when that's happening. Uh, not just based on feeling and how many times our listings are being shown over a weekend or something like that. We're actually looking at the numbers. As a matter of fact, I look at the numbers every single week. I just do these reports on a month to month basis. So if you or someone you know is thinking about buying in the Fredericksburg area or selling in the Fredericksburg area in the near future, connect them with us. We will sit down with them. We will go over how the market impacts their specific home. We will go over how the market impacts their buying power and their buying position. And we will take very, very good care of them. So if you know of anyone, reach out and we'd love to be able to help them.